One of the most common questions that we get here is how can I get rid of brown pigment in my skin? Brown pigment may take the form of sunspots, freckles, um, age spots, liver spots, brown patches, whatever you want to call it. It's basically all the same. The brown discoloration comes from melanin and melanin is produced by your skin cells to protect the skin. It's what gives our skin the brown color. It's what gives, us, gives our skin a tan. So when you're exposed to the sun, your skin cells will naturally produce melanin which gives you a tan and forms kind of like a physical barrier or an umbrella to protect your skin from further UVA damage or sunburn. In the case of somebody who I like to say I'm melanin challenged, somebody who doesn't have enough melanin or abnormal melanin, that can form into little clumps like freckles, but those brown patches can also be caused by sun damage, UVA damage. That's the most common reason for brown pigment is sun damage. Another common reason is something called melasma, which is an abnormal condition that your skin produces melanin abnormally and typically forms what they call a mask. It looks like a mask across the cheeks and your, the bridge of your nose. You can get it in other places as well. That's the most common. Uh, another reason to get brown discoloration is a condition called PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So that happens when there is injury to the skin like a sunburn, it can also come from a curling iron burn or a bug bite. In any case that the skin is injured, then your skin has an abnormal response to that injury and produces melanin to protect it. That's, that's a normal response or a helpful response in the case of sun damage, but can happen just with any kind of inflammation like a bug bite or a burn or something. In that case, it's abnormal. So PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and another cause is hormones, uh, especially in the case of melasma. Melasma is often hormonally induced. So lots of reasons to get brown pigmentation in your skin, but it really doesn't matter. They can all be treated the same way. Any brown pigment can be treated in the same ways. So how can you treat hyperpigmentation or brown spots on your skin? Well, good news, face and body, it all works the same way. So I'm, when I'm talking about removing it from your skin, it can remove from any part of your body. One of the most common ways is to use professional strength skin care. You want to use professional grade because the stuff that you buy over the counter is not going to be strong enough to really make much of a difference. Another way is with chemical peels. Don't be scared of peels. I talk about chemical peels all the time. You don't even have to peel from peels, but it's a very effective way of getting rid of pigment. A third way to get rid of, of pigment is to use an IPL or a photofacial. That is like, it's very similar to a laser. It's not a laser, but very similar. And it's a very effective way of removing both brown and red pigment from your skin. And of course, the fourth way is my favorite, lasers. Lasers are an awesome way to get rid of brown and red discoloration in your skin. So if you want to use skincare products to fade your pigment, it can work great for you as long as you're using the right products, but which ingredients are you looking for? Well, one of the first and most important ones that you want to be using is a retinol. Retinol fades pigment, but it also increases your skin cell turnover, so it's anti-aging. Retinol can be a little bit irritating to, to the skin, and very recently we've started adding in other things with retinol to make it less irritating, but getting the same effects and kind of boosting the effects so you get a synergistic effect. So use a retinol to, to, for anti-aging and for, for working on pigment, but you can also look for one that includes bacuchiol and or resveratrol. So those combinations give you the extra punch. Another really good skincare product to use for fading pigment is hydroquinone. It's probably the most powerful pigment fading ingredient that we have. Can be irritating on the skin, but if you can tolerate it, it's probably the product that's going to get rid of your pigment the fastest. Now I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use a little list because I'm going to go through some other ingredients to look for in your skincare um, that are pigment fading. So niacinamide, or it may show up as niacin, one of the B vitamins. Also vitamin C, fantastic, and also helps build collagen. You also want to look for arbutin, emblica, kojic acid, azelaic acid, tranexamic acid, that's by prescription only, by the way, and bearberry. So any of those products are also going to really boost the pigment fading aspects 
of your skincare. So I'm going to remind you one more time, don't be using over-the-counter stuff or you're really not going to see much results. You want prescription strength skincare to really amp up the results and make it worth your money. Another thing to remember when you're using skincare is it's not going to happen as fast as it will with lasers, IPLs, photofacials. It's going to take longer. So if you get really good product, give it a good six months of using it before you really can expect to see major results in your skin. Just be patient and it'll work. Can you use chemical peels to remove brown pigmentation from your skin? Yes, you can as long as they're using ingredients that specifically aim at removing pigment. So some of the things that you're looking for in those peels would be lactic acid, mandelic acid, peruvic acid, tranexamic acid, uh, and even better, a combination of those. So we have a great new peel at Skin Deep Laser MD called our Pigment Correct Peel. It's amazing. It's safe for all skin types. There's no downtime. It pulls existing pigment out of the skin and prevents further melanin production. So you're getting the pigment at both directions. People will see up to a 17% reduction in as little as one week. So it's pretty amazing. So can you use an IPL or a photofacial to remove brown pigment? Yes, you can. IPL stands for Intense Pulsed Light. It's not a laser, but it does use light energy, kind of like a laser, and focuses those intense beams of a particular wavelength to hit a target. In this case, our target is melanin, which causes the brown pigment in your skin and comes from either sun damage, melasma, PIH, hormones. Um, all of that is your target and the energy will aim at that and destroy it. Good news for using an IPL or photofacial is it will also affect uh, red pigment which comes from hemoglobin from tiny little spider veins. So if you have background red pigment or little bitty spider veins, you can aim at those and treat them at the same time. Now, something to know about IPLs and photofacials, they are the same thing. A photofacial is just a brand name for one of the early IPLs. So photofacial, IPL, same thing, just like you're talking about in Texas, we say Coke instead of soda, uh, or people will say Kleenex, no matter what brand they're talking about. Photofacial is just a brand of a particular IPL. So basically, use them. You think of them interchangeably. Are lasers the best way to remove brown pigment from your skin? It's a tricky question. Generally, yes. Lasers, unlike IPLs, will generate energy in the form of light to affect a specific target at a specific depth. Lasers can also include multiple different wavelengths to, to, to reach multiple targets and multiple depths in the skin. And they can also often do multiple different things at the same time. For example, they re may remove brown pigment. They may be removing tattoo ink. Maybe they are causing skin rejuvenation or scar revision or ramping up skin cell turnover and collagen production or elastin production. So lasers will do multiple different things. And depending on which laser you have, they're going to do different things at dip different depths. In general, lasers are going to be your best option, but not always. So it gets really tricky in here. And when you're talking about multiple different modalities like skincare products, like chemical peels, um, IPLs, lasers, all these different options, combining them often is the best way to go. So if we're talking about hyperpigmentation and how to get rid of it, we should also mention what doesn't work. And these are a big sore point for me because there's a lot of people that will tell you these things work and they don't. So number one pet peeve for me is microneedling. Microneedling doesn't work for hyperpigmentation because it's too superficial. You may see a temporary improvement, but it's not going to go deep enough to where the new pigment is being formed. The worst part of microneedling is that it can actually make hyperpigmentation worse, especially if you have melasma. Okay, so the next one would be hydrofacials. Hydrofacials claim to cure everything, but again, it's a very, very superficial treatment, more superficial than microneedling. It's just a facial, so it's not diving deep into your skin, it's really not lifting pigment, and it's not treating pigment down at the source. And then the last one would be over-the-counter skincare products. I know I harp on this a lot, but don't waste your money with over-the-counter skincare. Go ahead and invest in good prescription strength skincare because 
Prescription strength is going to have the concentrations of ingredients that you need to actually do some good. And it's also going to have the delivery system to dive deep into your skin, pass the superficial layer down deep where the melanin is being formed, and stop it at the, at the track, stop it before it even gets started. So those are what don't work well for removing pigment. Microneedling, which can actually make it worse, hydrofacials, and over-the-counter skincare products. So a couple of things that you need to know or be aware of if you're removing pigment from your skin. Lasers, IPLs, photofacials are usually going to be the first choice of action, especially if you're going to a medical profession. And usually those are going to get rid of your pigment more effectively and quicker. But what you need to be aware of is that they can make pigment worse, especially in darker skin types uh, or in people that have PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or possibly melasma, especially if it's the heat-triggered type. Those can all be made worse with IPLs, photofacials, and lasers. So if you're doing that, it's okay, but just make sure that you're going to somebody that's experienced in treating your skin type and somebody that has a backup plan and can treat your pigment if it does get darker. Another thing that you need to be aware of is time. This is a process. So even with a laser, pigment is not going to go away with one treatment. And if somebody tells you that, then they're not being honest with you. So just be patient and we'll get rid of it. To wrap it all up, obviously hyperpigmentation is a very complicated topic and a complicated issue. There's multiple ways to treat it. There's multiple causes for it. And sometimes the treatment depends on the cause and sometimes it doesn't. But the very best way to handle it is to come in and let us look at you and your skin and figure out what treatment or combination of treatments will best work for you and your skin type and your budget. We love treating hyperpigmentation. It's my own personal problem. And so we would love to help you. But like I said, it does get tricky. So the best thing that you can do is come in and do an in-person consultation with us so we can assess your skin and figure out what's going to work best for you and work best within your budget.